Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Debian 12 virtual machine on Azure Cloud. Connect to portal.azure.com with your credentials. Now in search resources, search for virtual machines. See, click on this virtual machines. See, at present I don't have any virtual machines. You can click on this create or just click on create. Both are same. Click on create, then select virtual machine. Here also you will get the same options. Select the virtual machine. Here I don't have pre-trial subscription, so I have the pay as you go. But for first time you can get the pre-trial subscription. Okay. Then select the resource groups. See, I have two resource groups. If you want to create other resource group, click on this create new, then provide the name. Virtual machines. Click on OK. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving virtual machine name as dep 12 vm This should be meaningful art. Okay. Then region, select the region. See, you have different regions. It is recommended to select your local region. I am going with US East. Then availability options. This is the option. Default is availability zone. Okay. Keep it as it is. Then select the zones. See, you have three zones. You want to create in all three you have to select For at present i want to create in only zones one next security type select the standard then image see here by default it has selected ubuntu server 2004 lts version but in drop down you can see only debian 11 see here we don't have the debian 12 in the list click on see click on this see all images are Click on this, see all images, both are same. Click on it. See, we have a number of images. So, in the search, the marketplace, search for Debian. Hit enter. See, we have this many Debian OS. But, see, our aim is, suppose if you want to install Debian 11, 10, you have to click on this one and select the type of, okay. This is for 11. And in this video, we are going to install Debian 12. Click on it. See here the plans. Book form. Debian 12. Ratings and all. Okay. You can get more information here. But click on select. Close this one. Click on select. Here we have Gen 1 or Gen 2 or ARM. I am going with Gen 1. See here. We have architecture 64 bit. If you want to, you want to go with spot discount you have to click on this one i don't want size c default is on cpu 3.5 gigabytes you want to change click on see all sizes then select the size as per your requirement i'm okay with the first one then select it and click on it then authentication or administrator account ssh public key or password i'm going with password then provide the username i'm giving dep user one otherwise give demo user that's also fine username whatever you like okay then provide the password for this user remember this user and password see it is saying the value must be must be between 12 and 72 characters long box okay also, it must satisfy one lowercase character, uppercase character, and one special character and number. Okay, so you and remember this password. Then next, public inbound port rules. The default one is SSH. That that is double two. If you want to enable these two, just select them. And then click on next. See, this is only basic configuration. Next, disks. Or click on disks. Both are same. See, this is the default. If you want to increase, you can increase. But if you increase, then the cost will be changed. Okay. And for this demo, I am going with 30 gigabytes. Select the disk type. See, we have different disk types. I am going with standard SSD. See, see the this checkbox. Suppose if you delete VM, this OS disk will be delayed. 
we check this one okay check it key management i'm going with the default ones then click on see i'm not going if you want to attach an existing disk you can attach otherwise this is the disk okay then next networking i'm not going to change anything i will keep the subnet or public ip as it is i will keep this virtual network public ip subnet all as it is i'm not going to change if you want to change you can change click on management i'm going to keep all as it is then click on net next click on advanced settings click on next advanced see if you want provide any custom data you have to provide here i'm not going to change click on tax i'm not going to provide any tax for this virtual machine click on review and create see see the cost here 5 rupees is almost 6 rupees per hour this is based on the configuration and this is the basics information like region zones image name architecture okay size of the ram and this is the disk information networking information and management and others okay this summary matches with their requirements then we have to click on create One, then it will create the virtual machine on azure cloud so click on create see it has created these resources but still deployment is in progress go to home then virtual machines see we have one virtual machine before we don't have the virtual machine type is virtual machine okay see deployment is succeeded click on close but status is still creating click on refresh wait until this status we change it see now status has been changed to running and this is the public ip okay and number of disks are one okay click on this virtual machine you will get the all the information if you want to connect you have to click on connect if you want to restart you have to click on this restart button see operating system name and the ram size public ip information see here public ip here both are same now copy now copy this public ip now open ot then paste that click on open click on accept then provide the username username is demo user then provide the password of this user that we have given at the time of creating virtual machine see i have successfully connected let's max max a bit see here this is the host name that we have given let us verify the host name host name see host name is the same then verify whether this is debian 12 or not more etc os hyphen release Hit enter see we have connected see we have created debian 12 book form and this is the version number q2 quit control l to clear screen okay so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to debian 12 virtual machine on azure cloud for more azure cloud or devops videos please subscribe my channel thank you